Hi folks, this is a denitrate coil. It's currently not in use, but it's going to give me an opportunity to show you the inside so that uh, I can sort of show you and explain as I go. Now this coil around the outside is air hose, which is 200 feet worth. Now, it, what it does is it coils around the outside, there's a feed in and a feed out. It feeds in one end inside this four inch pipe, PVC pipe, which is normally filled out up with plastic scrubbers as a uh, media for bacteria to grow on. Now as the water slowly moves through this, this hose, 200 feet of it, by the time it gets to the other end, it's consumed all the uh, oxygen, which creates inside this chamber an oxygen-free or anaerobic environment. So anaerobic bacteria thrives on that media that you've provided. And then what that does is the anaerobic bacteria consume the nitrates and uh, turn it into nitrogen gas, which basically just evaporates out the top of your tank into the atmosphere. Um, now, these systems, these coils are not commercially made that I know of. They're handmade. There's plans online if you want to make one. But anyway, they have to be handled with care because if you have the water flowing too fast through the, through the coil, it can actually create a lot of nitrites and ammonia. So fine tuning, care, patience and experiment can get these things working really well. I will point out one thing, the longer and bigger you make them, the faster they can denitrate. If you had 2,000 feet worth of hose and a giant pipe filled with massive amounts of media for the uh, bacteria to grow on, you could probably have it running as fast as a hose. But then again, you're getting a little carried away. Is it really worth that? Anyway, that's the basics of how a denitrate coil works. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. Just look online, Google search denitrate coil plans, and you'll find how they're made. In my opinion, if you want the best working possible coil, put a thousand feet of hose on it, put a four inch PVC pipe that's about six foot tall, and if you find room for that and you got the money to build it, then you're going to have one heck of an effective coil. Length and largeness is definitely a factor on how well these things work. Again, thanks for watching. I hope that helps.